Welcome to another video. We're playing Fish Explosion with the Super Ancient DT King Seal of Camp. We also got the Summoner Monk. Let's give this a shot. Summoner Monk gonna summon himself. Switch himself to defense position. Opponent has a response to the Summoner Monk's effect. Not gonna activate it. Now, here's the real question. What do we do from here? Now, we could Small World, but I think what we're going to have to do is activate Summoner Monk, discard the Small World, hope that our opponent chooses not to activate. Let's discard. Opponent has a max C. Well, opponent, we got something for you. We got the Ash Blossom. Let's go. Full deck that's going to be at the end of the video. Super Ancient Deep Sea King, Coelacanth combo. Let's go. Oh, it was... We got baited. <laughs> no. Opponent not only had Max C, they also had an effect Veiler. That's going to negate the effect of our Summoner Monk. Summoner Monk going to get negated. Let's quickly check our extra deck. Do we have a way out of this? We do not. No DPE engine. So all we got is this. That's it. Summoner Monk and nothing. Opponent bait us with that Max C. They knew they could affect Veiler. Uh, opponent has the adventure engine infinite negates. I don't think so opponent. Let's get out of here Let's go on to the next game If you like this video give the channel subscribe We'll be playing more legendary fisherman games next time. Maybe we'll be playing blue eyes white dragon Let me know down in the comments what you want to see Opponent is going first. We got small world. We got foolish burial we got Goblinburg. All great cards. Goblinburg mostly in the deck to allow us to be a bridge with Small World. Since our deck is mostly level 4 fish monsters, they already all kind of default share two attributes, making Small World searches difficult. So I threw in a Goblinburg, which is an earth monster level 4. Let's us bridge between any two fish monsters. Opponent summoning an Ecclesia. I think we're going to have to Ash Blossom this. Don't want him Sword Solon. Ash Blossom effect negated. Clay's you're not going to search anything. What do you got next, opponent? Opponent is definitely playing Sword Soul. Got their 10 E Spirit. Going to special summon it. They've used their normal summon, though. Not sure what their plan is here. Just making a wall. Linking off into Monk of the 10 E. Do you have more 10 E Spirits in hand? No. Opponent setting a card. All right. We draw Rep Dolphin. All right. Now, hmm, we got some choices here. I think what we want to do is start by activating the Foolish Burial. If our opponent has an Ash Blossom, they'll likely Ash Blossom this, since this is a way to get Adventure Engine in the graveyard. Doesn't look like opponent is responding though. Interesting. Very interesting. All right. Well, in that case, opponent probably doesn't have Ash Blossom. So we're just going to send our Super Ancient Deep Sea King to the graveyard. Now we're going to activate Small World. Small World, we need to get a level 4 out of the hand. Any level 4 is fine. Let's banish the Rep Dolphin. Banish as a bridge. I believe the Ice Jade Chamorro will be good. Ice Jade Chamorro seems like a fine banish. Let us bridge to a level 4. Any level 4 will be a okay. Let's get the Silent Angler. Summon the Goblinburg. Activate the effect. Special summon the Silent Angler. Opponent doesn't have seemingly anything. Oh, just kidding. Oh, it's a blackout. Opponent. Very rude. Popping our entire field with the blackout and the monk. All we can do is set this ice barrier and pass the turn. Very unfortunate. Now, I will say one thing. I think every single piece of interaction in Yu-Gi-Oh! will disrupt this combo. So, we're going to see it disrupted quite often. Let's see if we can use this Ice Barrier to recover. Ice Barrier in the graveyard will let us add any fish to our hand from our graveyard. So, if we search, or if we draw any level 4 fish, we could get the Silent Angler back to hand and do our combo next turn. Looks like opponent has it in Hara. 
being a tuner, it's likely he can do the disgusting Aurodon combo with Hulk of Fibrex. Let's see what our opponent does here. He might not have a second monster in hand. Waiting for a response. Opponent, are you giving up? Maybe he has nothing. Maybe he was hoping we'd concede. Opponent summoning that Ahara. What are you going to do next? Conceding! <laughs> yes. I'm guessing opponent ran out of resources. We got an error has occurred. I'm not sure what sort of error that is. The error that results in us winning. All right, let's go on to the next game. Let's go first. We're playing live. I have no idea what's going to happen next. I win, I lose. It goes in the video. Let's see if we can get that fish explosion combo. I really want to show off the ridiculous wombo combo. All right, let's go. This is pretty good. This is pretty good. We got two level fours. We got foolish burial. We got small world. I think what we're going to do is start with the foolish burial. Hmm. Risky though. We could start with small world. If they have an ash blossom, they could activate it now. Looks like they do. It is usually reasonable to ash blossom this. Very nice. Baited the ash with the small world. Now our foolish barrel will go unimpeded. Let's activate the foolish barrel. Send our fish to the graveyard. Send our big fish to the graveyard. Where is he? All the way at the end. Big fish in the graveyard. Let's summon the right hand shark. Let's summon the silent angler. Slat on in, as they would say in Duel Links. Now we can special summon the Dugaras. Dugaras in defense mode in the extra monster zone. We need every zone. We're going to be doing some unreasonable things. Let's activate. Mode 2. Skip our main phase. Special summon from the graveyard. Special summon our deep sea. Super Inch Pizza King Seal the Camp. Let's activate his effect. Discard the Oyster Meister. We gotta pay attention here. We're gonna be vomiting fish. We need a level three. We need a level four. That's gonna let us Synchro Shokan. We need two level fours. We need a lifeless leaf fish. Let's go. Special summon, special summon. Get vomited. So many fish. We're gonna do this again. We can activate the spec, but it's negated. Special summon from the extra deck. Let's make Bahamut Shark using two of our fish. Doesn't matter where he goes. Let's make the Toad. Detach something, doesn't matter. Get our Toad on the field. That's negate number one. Now we got a Link Shokan. Link Shokan with the Water Charmer. Get rid of our Super Ancient Deep Sea King. We need him back in the graveyard so we can summon him a second time. Let's go. Area of the Water Charmer on the field. Now let's Synchro Summon for the White Aura Monoceros. Monoceros. Gonna Special Summon our fish from the graveyard. Activate the effect. Target our Super Ancient Deep Sea King. Sure, let's boost our attack points. There's no reason not to. Let's go. Special summon the fish back on the field. But what's something's wrong? We don't have a card in hand to discard. That's why earlier, you'll remember we added lifeless leaf fish to the field. Banish from the graveyard. Shuffle three fish back into the deck. Three fish in the deck. Do, do, do. Draw a card, activate the Sea King again. But first, we gotta do something first. We gotta activate the Appaloosa. Clear up our field. Yes uses two materials. Many negates with the Appaloosa. Activate the fish. Discard the Summoner Monk. Get a level three Synchro. Get two level fours, Tuner and a non-Tuner. Let's go. Now we can special summon the Baron de Fleur. Get Baronin. We got two Omni Negates online. 
let's activate the effect of the Rep Dolphin, but boost the attack of our Baron. Not gonna negate that. Let's search. S sorry, just just kidding. Special summon Boralode Savage Dragon. Boralode gonna give us another Omni Negate. We had so many options. We're just going with this option because it's the most fun. Let's get the Boralode. Boralode effect gonna activate. Let us add our Water Charmer. Not gonna negate. Water Charmer on the field. Playing around Mech Knights. Let's go past the opponent. Opponent, can you get around? One, two, three Omni Negates. One, two, three Monster Negates. Let's see what the opponent has. No, we are not going to activate Brown the Fleur. What do you have, opponent? Your little waifu avatar on your creepy tribute playmat. <laughs> opponent thinking. Thinking heavily. See if they have the out to this. Uh, raw sphere mode. Uh, kaiju. Uh, any sort soul monster. It's possible. Opponent is reading. Reading the field. Thinking. Setting. Setting. Skill drain would be bad. I guess we could negate a skill drain. Set for back row. That is not cool, opponent. Back to our turn. We got a foolish barrel of goods. No, we will not activate Brown of Flare. We skip our main phase one. Let's go to battle phase. Now we still have three Omni Negates. Let's start with start with the Toad. We do have lethal if our opponent can't stop us. What do you have, opponent? We know you got a million things. Opponent thinking. Oh, are we gonna see another cowardly disconnection? Opponent. Opponent. Opponent is is waiting for a response. Opponent is turning off their handheld device out of rage. They thought we might concede after seeing four set back row. Opponent is done. Cannot play through the fish combo. All right, connection failed. Mm, suspicious. Very convenient. All right, let's do one more game. Then I'll show you the deck list. All right, let's go versus the basketball. Very intelligent choice. The basketball, it's perfect. A perfect sphere. So simple, so so beautiful. Let's see if we can vomit our fish onto the field. We got one successful vomit so far today. Interesting, interesting. All right, uh, opponent seems to have a max C. Let's start with the Ice J Cradle. Ice J Cradle will let us add. Uh, opponent does have the max C. Very unfortunate. Now you know what? I think I think we play through the max C. This deck has so many negates that it's possible we can negate everything our opponent tries to do. Is this ideal? Is this intelligent? No, it is not. But we're gonna do it anyway. Let's summon the lifeless leaf fish. Activate the effect. Send to the graveyard. The Super Ancient Deep Sea King. Let's activate the effect of the Ice Jade Chamora. Special summon the Swamp Eel. Opponent gets to draw. Let's special summon the Dugaras. We need some negates online. We gotta hope that our opponent doesn't get their negates before we get our negates. The opponent drew something. And this is not ideal. Any interaction will stop our combo. We're going to special summon from the graveyard. Opponent. Not stopping it. If they have an Ash Blossom, they'll be able to negate our Super Ancient DT King's vomiting effect. Let's activate. Opponent has something. We'll discard the small world. Opponent's not stopping it. All right, let's uh, get summoning. We get our level four. We get another level four. We get level three. We get level four tuners gone. We gotta get this. Let another level four. Let's go. Opponent's gonna draw another card here. Only one for our four fish. That's a fair trade. 
four fish, one card. Do you have a Nibiru opponent? Uh, opponent does not have Nibiru. Let's get Salmon in. Bomb and Shark. Uh, opponent. Still drawing cards. Let's activate the Bomb and Shark. Detach. Right hand. Get our Toad. This is opponent's last chance before we have Negates online. Alright, Negate number one. Negate number one is online. Feeling a lot better about our situation now. Opponent activating. Dragon Maid. Not going to negate that. Quick effect. Discard special summon a level four lower Dragon Maid. You know what, opponent? You can you can go ahead you can go ahead and do that. What Dragon Maid is our opponent got summoned with their basketball? Add a Dragon Maid from the deck to the hand. Well, opponent, you got so many monsters in hand, you can add whatever you want. You can have every monster they could dream of. Not gonna stop anything that doesn't negate our field. All right, opponent, you got your Dragon Maid. Anything else you want to do? You're gonna discard a card. All right, you go right ahead. Let's special summon Aria the Water Charmer. Can we maxi make him draw his entire deck? I don't think so. But that would be very funny. Alright, now we can activate in the graveyard our lifelessly fish. But let's save that. First, let's synchro summon. Synchro summon. Get the white aura. White Aura Monoceros gonna let us special summon. Let's activate this first. Protect our Monoceros. All right, Rep Dolphin. Gonna boost his attack points to sky high levels. Let's special summon the Super Ancient Deep Sea King. Opponent's gonna have so many cards in their hand. They're not gonna know what to do with all of them. Let's activate the lifeless leaf fish in the graveyard. Shuffle three fish back into the deck, draw a card. What fish are we gonna shuffle? All of these ones. Boom, boom, boom. Shuffle back into the deck. Draw an Ash Blossom. Ash Blossom, not a terrible draw. Let's use Super Ancient Deep Sea King, but first we gotta, we gotta remember. We gotta remember to special summon the Appaloosa. Ooh, one, two, three, four, five. Goddess of Chaos. You can also use one monster your opponent controls. Negate the effects of all face-up monsters your opponent controls. Unaffected by opponent's activated effects. When your opponent activates a card or effect that special summons a monster from the graveyard, negate that activation. You know what? This seems better. This seems better than uh, Appaloosa through multiple monster negates. Let's steal our opponent's kitchen dragon maid. I don't usually make this. Underworld goddess. Let's go. Let's activate the Super Ancient Deep Sea King. Discard the Foolish Barrel Goods. Not gonna Ash Blossom that. Let's get this. Let's get this. Let's get this. Our opponent's got every card they could possibly want. Will it be enough to get through our board? Let's make the Barana Fleur. Baronda Fleur, gonna provide an Omni Negate. Our opponent will have to discard all these cards at the end of their turn. Activate the effect of the Rep Dolphin, gonna boost the effect attack points of our Baron. And la last card, last Negate, let's get the Bora Load. Bora Load, gonna give us another Negate. Activate the effect. Not gonna negate with Baron. Equip the Water Charmer. Let's go, opponent. You got every card you could want. Can you get through this? Underworld Goddess, Borolode, Toad, and Baron de Fleur. Opponent has a billion cards in hand. Let's see if Dragon Maids can pull it off. We will not activate Baron de Fleur's effect. Opponent, not satisfied. Gonna activate Pot. This is bait. Opponent, you have every card you could possibly want. This pot is not going to do anything. I do not accept this offer. I will not trade my ash or any negate for this pot. Opponent, 
opponent banishing six cards. May they really want this. I'm not going to negate it. I'm betting they have everything they want in hand already. I want to add in Feather Duster. You Feather Dust away, opponent. Opponent discarding a card. Dragon made low par. Uh, this card is targeting a monster on the field. Monster will not be able to activate its effects. All right, well, we're going to activate Borload. Protect our Brawn. We're going to lose a negate anyway. Might as well keep the negate pop. Uh, opponent. Not going to interact with our negate. Negate the effect. Protect it, our Baron. Opponent activating the Dragon Ravine. Gonna discard a card, add a level 4 lower Dragonity monster from the deck to the hand, or send a Dragon monster from the deck to the graveyard. Let's see which effect they activate. Send Dragon from the deck to the graveyard. Well, I believe that our Underworld Goddess, once per turn when an opponent activates effect to special summons a monster from the graveyard, will negate. So we're gonna let him send to the graveyard, I think. Let you let you have it. Send it, opponent. Don't send it. Opponent's probably trying to bait us into using our negates up. So we're gonna keep as many negates as we got. Opponent sending a parlor dragon maid. Opponent activating a Dragon Maid Hospitality. Special Summon Dragon Maid Monster from the graveyard. Let's activate Underworld Goddess. Negate the effect. Dragon Maid Hospitality is once per turn. Alright. Dragon Maid Hospitality is negated. Underworld Goddess showing her power. What else you got, opponent? Uh, opponent activating Dragon Maid Hospitality again. But it's only once per turn. He already activated it. Underworld Goddess negates the activation. I see. So it was not negated. Let's activate with Ash Blossom. I believe Ash Blossom does not negate the activation. It negates the effect. Negate the effect. Alright, he will not be able to activate any more Dragon Maid Hospitalities. We still have one Omni Negate with Baron, one Omni Negate with Toad. We're running out though. Only two Omni Negates left. Opponent. Return of the Dragon Lords. Targeting a dragon in the graveyard. What dragon? Did he target? Dragon Raid Ernest. Can't be destroyed by card effects. Once per turn, discard, discard, special summon a dragon made from the hand. At the end of the battle phase, return to the hand. Special summon a dragon made from your hand. Do we want this? I don't think we have much choice. But I just do not think we have much choice. This is also not once per turn. I think we got to let it go. If opponent goes to battle phase now, we will be able to negate his transformation effect with our toad. Underworld Goddess is unaffected by monsters activated effects. Uh, opponent activating Dragon Maid changeover. Fusion summon a Dragon Maid monster from the extra deck. Using monsters from the hand or field. I think we gotta let this go too. This is only a, this is a once per turn, but opponent hasn't used their normal summon yet. We can negate the effect of the monster they fusion summon. It's just Xiao. When your opponent activates an effect, negate the activation. Destroy that card. Trade negates for negates. Banishing from the graveyard. Dragon Maid tidying. Target Dragon Maid. Banish this card from graveyard. Special summon Dragon Maid from your hand in graveyard in defense position. Let it happen. Opponent can't actually get through Arbor onto Fleur. Getting a Nurse Dragon Maid on the field. Nurse Dragon Maid gonna activate. Let's let it happen. We're going to use our toad to protect Baron. 
we're gonna use our brawn negate first, and then use toes to negate and effect that would stop the brawn. Search for more dragon mates. Opponent not happy with the amount of dragon mate cards they have already. Opponent adding cards to hand. Discarding cards. What are you doing? What are you doing, opponent? Feather Duster. Not scared about Feather Duster. You dust away. Very thematic in the Dragon Maid deck. What are you doing next, opponent? What are you doing next? Opponent activating the effect of the Nurse Dragon Maid. This is gonna return to the hand and special summon a level seven from the hand or graveyard. Now we know in the graveyard he has a level seven. He has the Dragon Maid Ernest. Ernest cannot be destroyed by card effects while I control a fusion monster. I think we're going to let this one go. And we'll negate the second one. Opponent summoning the Ernest. Activate an effect of the second Dragon Maid. Alright, it's time. Let's negate with Baron. <laughs> negate with Baron. Let's go. Opponent gonna activate the effect of Xiao. It's, it's almost certain. All right, we knew it. Now let's Toad. Toad will let us steal the Xiao. Return a card from our graveyard to the hand. Opponent, do you have another card? It's a call by the grave. Our Toad. Our toad is negated. This is unfortunate. This is very unfortunate. We gave our opponent too many cards with the Max C. Max C, as usual, should be banned. Dragon Mage Shia gonna negate and destroy our Baron. Now our field is gone. Oh, he did shuffle himself back in the deck. Maybe we're not dead. Just kidding. It summons itself again. Or something else. Clearly has no respect. No respect for the fish. Gonna max see the fish. Draw a billion cards. Not let us play. Adding more Dragon Mate cards to hand. Main phase one is skipped. Of course. We'll go straight to the end phase. <laughs> Pass to the opponent. Dugar is not letting us play. We could have gone to battle phase and then gone to main phase two, but I don't think we have much of a chance here. Opponent can return a card to hand, pop a card, presumably negate or banish something from the graveyard. Let's honorably die. Opponent playing so slowly. Let's just surrender. Alright, well, you've seen the fish. You've seen them be good. You've seen them be bad. You've seen a single piece of interaction disrupt their entire game plan. Let's go on to the deck list. Here is the fish deck list. We got three Ash Blossoms to stop Maxis. Unfortunately, you do have to draw it. We got all the fish you could need. We got Bridges for Small World. We got Royal Swamp Eel. We got Ice Street Tamora, lets us special summon our Super Ancient Deep Sea King from the hand. We got ways to things, send things to the graveyard. We got more interaction. We got three copies of Small World. We got Ice Jade Cradle, lets us search our Ice Jade Monsters. Also a spell, very important in this deck to have a high spell count for the Summoner Monk. That is why in previous builds, didn't play the Summoner Monk. Now we have Small World, actual useful relevant card to have. We got a high spell count. Summoner Monk becomes very good in the extra deck. This is what we got. You could throw any level 4, any synchro monster. There's so many options with the Super Ancient Deep Sea King. Deck is fun when it goes off, as you saw in one of those games. But it is super vulnerable. Super vulnerable to interaction. It doesn't have much of a grind game due to the effect of Dugaris making you skip your main phase. So deck always, always fun to play. But something that's more of a meme than a super tier deck. Alright, hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time. Have a good night.